that. Look at that. Yes, that's normal, isn't it? <laughs> oh, glad I must. I'm glad I put my head out. Not often you get one of those, eh? Well, I'll just turn, uh, turn the camera up, uh, sharpen. I'm just going to leave. Just put brightness up by a point. Okay, maybe not. <sighs> right, well, now I have to get the other. Oh, God. Uh, come on, other one, other one, other one. Auto balance. Oh, that's interesting. Although, is it me or has it suddenly? Is that me? Is it coming towards us? Or is it not so fast? Oh, it's, it's break. It's moved. But look at that angle. So that's the displacement at a certain height. These objects are displaced. There's definitely some kind of pole or something. Unfortunately, we're not going to have much time to enjoy these skies, so better. Although, seeing the red there is interesting. Okay, let's move. Up a bit, and then maybe around a bit, maybe in for an interesting day. Who knows? Maybe not. I'm going to have to sit in my. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm going to have to sit in my hovel uh, with the window open all day, just for you guys, even though it's freezing. Most years I try, <coughs> I try to climatise to, to the weather as it changes in the seasons, but <laughs> this year I didn't bother. I didn't bother. I, but normally I just wear shorts until the last minute and you go indoors all the time. You don't really need to. But it's certainly a, a keep sky. Little patches of red and orange. It's kind of a bit weird, actually. I'm trying to work out why the why the uh, what it could be that was broken up with all these little broken patches of redness. I know a lot of people would probably turn around and say, "Oh, that's just." reflection of a fraction of light from the rising sun but as you can see it's only just after sunrise so at the moment there is no sign of the sun in any position however there is plenty of sign of light I was always under the impression that it was quite dark until the sun came up. Uh, and one thing I have noticed quite, look, see, there is a light emerging over there in the background. Oh, you can't see it though. It's between the trees. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? You can't see it. Well, anyway, there's a, a very brief red light. Um, you can kind of see it right there in the, in the dip between the, the main tree and the and the tree on the right hand side. Doesn't matter. It's coming up anyway, it's coming up brighter. So I'm assuming that's the actual sun. In which case, 
why is the sky already uh, as bright as daylight? But like, you know, full on. I mean, it'll probably get a little bit brighter than this, but oh, look at that! Huge, a huge red disc coming up from behind that. I mean, it barely looks like anything right here, but um, where are we? Oops! Come on, Lee, sort it out. Oh, what? This big red disc. I mean, you're kind of getting the colour there, but. Obviously, I'm, I want to. I want to try to uh, capture this as best I can. Oh, look, there we go. <laughs> with all the with all the light down, <laughs> you can see it. And uh, look, what is that? Why is it turned into two dots? I mean, I would think that's because of the branch of the tree getting in the way, perhaps. It could just be the tree. I think it's just the tree. <sighs> I have to keep checking with my naked eye just to double check. The colours at the moment seem to be accurate. Very, very red. Very red. I, I don't even know why it's doing that. Why it's... Uh, I don't know why it's, it's orange. I don't know. I'm talking about, I don't know why it, it kind of looks white by comparison because the red is so deep. It's kind of. It definitely looks like a big orange disc. And this is the thing you see. I know that people often say it's because of uh, some kind of it's uh, the sun rising, right? But I don't agree. I've been watching this so many times now. It doesn't operate the way that we've known it to operate. It, it just doesn't make sense. And people will probably scream and shout and claim. Claim they're right. I think the only reason why they're right is because the mainstream concept is such, and that's what they really believe in. I don't think, because anyone who's watched this enough times, I think, would start to question why does the sun turn white when it's blazing red at the uh, at the horizon. And every time it gets up higher to a certain altitude, it will flick on white, like a light bulb. There's no graduation at all. It just, one moment it's one thing, the next moment it's something else. <sighs> 